Chris Chase 5. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys, CIA Air Chris here, and today's video consists of my predictions for the first week of Stage 2 of the 2021 CDL season. This week of matches is also the Toronto Home Series. Alright, but that's pretty much it from me. As always, I hope you guys enjoy. First up here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the New York Subliners. This series, I will have to call 3-2 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is still undefeated. This is a very solid roster, and they looked way ahead of everyone during Stage 1. NYSL is a dark horse. They're currently fourth in the standings. They have 3 0 Optic and taken Empire, who are currently second in the standings, to a map 5. They are both solid teams and should be a rather intense series. All the maps should be close for the most part. Next up, we have the Florida Mutineers versus Seattle Surge. This matchup I will have to call 3 0 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Florida has already beaten Seattle 3 1 this season. This was also during Major 1, which was the most recent week of matches. Florida has also taken some maps on some top teams. They've taken maps on both FaZe and NYSL, meaning they should have no problem taking maps on Surge. Seattle, on the other hand, has struggled this season. They are currently 11th in the standings and have still only won one series. Octane, my boy, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to give this one in favor of the Florida Mutineers. I'm sorry, Seattle, Octane. I'll pour one out for you, my guy. Next up, we have the LA Thieves versus the Toronto Ultra. This next matchup, I will have to call 3-0 in favor of the LA Thieves. The first time these two teams met during Major 1, the Thieves won 3-0. Toronto since has also made roster changes. They have dropped methods. I do not feel they will be prepared enough as a team to take on the Thieves, as they will not have enough team chemistry. The Thieves are also currently higher in the standings, meaning they should have no problem securing this series. Next up, we have the Paris Legion versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I will have to call 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker is currently higher in the power rankings than Paris, and they have also beaten Empire who is currently second in the standings. Paris as of late has been on a losing streak, most recently seeing losses to both Florida and FaZe. To be honest, neither team really comes to spotlight for me in this series. I think it should be a close one for sure. I just think the talent and experience of former NYSL and FaZe members on Rocker will prevail versus rookies like Fire on Paris. For the next matchup, we have Optic Chicago versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. The last time these two teams met, it was during opening weekend and Optic won 3-0. Optic is not the greatest S&D team and Paris has gotten better since then. I feel the Paris should be able to take the search from Optic this time. Optic is still a great team though and should have no issues prevailing in this series and taking the W. Next up, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker has proved they can contend with top teams as they defeated Empire earlier in the season. Florida on the other hand has not looked as dominant as they were last season meaning they are more vulnerable. These teams are both currently 5th and 6th in the standings though meaning it should be a very close and competitive series. For the next matchup we have the Dallas Empire versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup I will have to call 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Empires look strong and they are currently 2nd in the standings. Surge on the other hand has been struggling. They are currently 11th in the standings and have still only won one series. Empire currently is a team of former champs coming off a loss to FaZe. They will be fired up from that loss in Grand Finals and should have no problem using that motivation to help them prevail and get the victory here. For the next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Gorillas versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. The Gorillas have looked strong. They beat the Thieves during Major 1. London recently has made a roster change. They dropped Parasite and picked up Paul from Western. Wester was debatably the best AM team so far this season, and I think picking up a player from that roster should help make them a bit better. London was also able to take Empire Map 5, but still has yet to find success in winning a series. They should come into this match looking like a strong team, I just don't think they have what it takes to quite close out a series yet. For the next matchup, we have Atlanta FaZe vs Toronto Ultra. This matchup I will be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. The last time these two teams matched up during Super Week, FaZe won 3-1. Ultra will still be trying to work out the kinks with their new roster, and I think it will be hard for them to find success versus a team as talented as Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is still undefeated, and I feel they should come out even stronger in this matchup than they did the first time they faced Ultra. This means that they will not drop a map. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have the LA Thieves versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. Last time this matchup happened, it was during opening weekend and the Thieves won 3-0. NYSL has looked a lot stronger since and they are currently higher in the power rankings than the Thieves. I do feel the Thieves have been underperforming now. I feel that it should be a close series as NYSL has improved significantly, but the Thieves should still be good enough to pull it out again. Now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the London Royal Ravens. In 11th, the Seattle Surge. In 10th, the Toronto Ultra. In 9th, the Florida Mutineers. 
In eighth, the Paris Legion. In seventh, the Minnesota Rocker. In sixth, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In fifth, the Los Angeles Thieves. In fourth, the New York Subliners. In third, Optic Chicago. In second, the Dallas Empire. And in first, Atlanta Bays. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for the return of the CDL this weekend, and I can't wait to see how the games play out. I'm hoping the Thieves win their matches too, as always, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.